sound too loud for my bug? Um, the, the answer to that is definitely not. So we chose Dr. Stephen Pigeon because he's one of the um, leading sound specialists in the world. He's um, a, an absolute genius out of Belgium um, and we researched um, him a lot before we actually chose him and he created the sound specifically for glow dreaming and specifically uh, for babies um, but also for people of all ages and and the biggest criteria I suppose for us is safety so when Dr. Dr. Pigeon was creating the sound he wanted to make sure that it would never damage your ch child's hearing um, so the maximum you can actually have um, before over a consistent time will actually start damaging your child's hearing is 80 decibels um, there are a lot of products that actually do go over 80 decibels, so be very careful when you do um, use your phone or something like that. Make sure that it is under 80 decibels. Um, the glow dreaming will go to a maximum of 70 decibels, so it's totally safe to, um, to use with your bum. Um, but apart from that, I, I know some adults um, find it uh, quite loud and, and then they, they are quite sensitive to sound. Um, it works very similarly to, um, I suppose, your noise cancelling um, headphones. So after two or three minutes, you'll actually find that your brain switches off and it doesn't hear the sound anymore because it's a consistent sound with no variation. And that's the reason we've created it like that. Um, pink noise is, is very different to white noise um, and it has a very different function. Um, and that's why we're so proud of what of Dr. Pigeon has actually done. And that's why it's so effective and so different to so many other things out there. Yeah.